This week in Chapel Hill, who's eligible for the COVID-19 booster and when you should get it? When will in-person meetings return for town council and advisory boards? How are you getting to the Battle of the Blues this weekend? One local artist take on honoring our black civic leaders. Your chance to get involved and help make Northside streets safer. How to celebrate Halloween throughout the month of October and a happy ending for one local family. Plus this week's track from our local music library. For the town of Chapel Hill, I'm Rand Northam. To strengthen and extend protections against severe illness, North Carolinians at high risk for severe illness or exposure who have been fully vaccinated with the Pfizer vaccine for six months or more can now receive a COVID-19 booster shot. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention announced the Pfizer COVID-19 booster shot is recommended for individuals who are 65 years or older, 18 years or older with underlying medical conditions, or work in a high-risk setting like healthcare workers, teachers, and child care providers, or food workers. The Orange County Health Department has more information about the booster and eligibility. Chapel Hill Mayor Pam Hemminger shared an update with the community this week that the town will remain virtual for town council, advisory boards, and public meetings through October. After consulting with the health director, UNC Health, and our Orange County leaders, all are in agreement that it is best to wait to come back in person just a little longer. Chapel Hill Transit will provide Tar Heel Express shuttle service Saturday for the Duke UNC football game at Keenan Stadium. Remember to wear a face covering at all times at bus stops and while on transit vehicles. Arrive as early as possible to avoid crowded vehicles and follow all COVID-19 safety precautions. Times and locations are available on our website. Local community organizations are excited to announce the completion of a new mural honoring black civic leaders from Chapel Hill and Carborough. Painted by artist Kiera Sanders, the African-American Trailblazers mural celebrates 12 people who helped to shape and improve our community. The mural is located where Chapel Hill and Carborough meet at 111 South Merritt Mill Road, home to two black-owned businesses, Walt's Grill and Miss Molly's Gift Shop. One of the 12 people that I'm painting is actually the person who built that building with his own hands. It's kind of like a full circle moment to also put my hand on a historic building, you know, share that with the public because we need to keep history alive. Mural artist Kiera Sanders is a recent art studies graduate from North Carolina Central University and is known for several art projects around the Triangle, including the new Art Plus Transit bus stop on Rogers Road. Town of Chapel Hill staff, along with community leaders from the Jackson Center and Empowerment, are hosting community meetings to hear from neighbors about safety concerns on north side neighborhood streets. Both virtual and in-person meetings are scheduled. We have a link to a pre-meeting survey, as well as information about how to attend on our website. Chapel Hill Parks and Recreation has planned a fun-filled October with outdoor adventure programs, ceramic arts and crafts, rock climbing and archery, and two outdoor family events. Programming began Friday. Visit our website for more information. The Town Council held a work session this week. Work sessions involve discussion only. No action is taken. The Council's next meeting is Wednesday, October 13th. And how's this for some good news? Two Chapel Hill residents shared their thanks for Chapel Hill firefighters who saved a beloved member of their family, Madeline, an eight-month-old English setter. Madeline bolted from David and Pamela Ransohoff's home near Metamont Village and ran toward Raleigh Road during lunchtime rush. Chapel Hill Fire Captain Patrick Spencer, Master Firefighter Bradley Hoover, and Firefighter Luis Velazquez were on their way back to Station 2 when they saw Madeline run across West Barbie Chapel Road at the intersection of Raleigh Road. The Ransohoff said they are deeply indebted to the selfless firefighters. And this week's track is Something High by Waking April.
The Tracks Music Series wrapped up this week, but you can always find more local music free in the Tracks Music Library. While COVID-19 numbers statewide have seen a recent decline, they remain at a dangerous level for transmission. Public health professionals are urging everyone to continue practicing the three W's. Vaccines are readily available in Orange County, including walk-in clinics five days a week in Chapel Hill. We have information about how to find a vaccine clinic near you on our website. Until next time, I'm Rand Northam. Remember, spread kindness, not illness, and thank you for watching.